Stay-at-home orders are keeping families apart, which can be especially challenging for grandparents. Having to figure out new technology to stay connected or missing out on important milestones can be very difficult. News 8 Now's Mel Meyer explains how some are navigating this time. Up until today, Mary Kay Wolf hasn't been close to her grandkids since late March. My daughter and her husband are essential workers and they've worked it out. But today we just broke down and, and needed to watch them. They've done birthday drive-bys, video chats, and lots of Facebook messages. We're trying really hard to make the connection, but it's tough. During a safer at home version of Coffee and Conversation through Great Rivers United Way, Heather Paff with The Parenting Place gave some helpful tips. I'm a wonderful co-worker with her grandson who lives on the East Coast. Um, he's five. They make up stories together. She's encouraging people to make meaningful moments with their family members through technology. You got a new dog or I heard you're in charge of feeding the dog now. Can you show me what you have to do to feed the dog? And they can take the camera and they can show you. But sometimes that doesn't work out. My parents are both in their 80s and getting them to do technology is an impossibility. So go old school. Instead of an email, have the kids send their grandparents a letter which helps them practice their handwriting, spelling, and grammar. And for those living nearby, there are ways to say hi. Luckily, Wolf's parents live on the first floor, so they can skip the technology. We are able to go to the window and call them and talk on the phone through the window. Paff recently took her teenager to meet her mother-in-law in the park. They sat far apart from each other for a quick lunch. We still got to talk and see in person each other, and that was really nice. It might not be perfect, but little things can make a big difference for families. There's ways, there's ways. We, we have to be creative though. In La Crosse, Mel Meyer, News 8 Now. And the Parenting Place says phone or video calls between grandparents and their grandkids can also provide a good break for a parent.